everyone. Today we're going to do the Gravity Well Lab. All right, so what is the Gravity Well Lab? What we're going to do is I've got uh, three spheres here and we're going to measure them going around, well, what's called a gravity well. It's a way of describing how gravity acts out in space as visually as we can get it because it's, it's kind of hard to imagine gravity. Um, so there are a couple steps that we need to do. The first thing is the three spheres. Let's find out the mass of these three, three spheres. So let me move this down and we'll see. Oops. So to find the mass of the spheres, first we have to get our tear. Our tear today is just going to be a plastic beak, uh, plastic, not beaker, plastic cup, I guess you could call it, just to um, hold the spheres onto the triple beam balance. Let's see here if it is. All right, that's looking pretty good. We're going to call it nine grams, all right? So we'll call it nine grams for our uh, tear. So you're just going to take nine away from each one of the... Um, measurements that we take. So if I add our small sphere that we have right here, right, let's add that in there and we'll see how much that guy is. It looks like it's going to be just a little bit over one gram. So let's see here. We got 10 in there. It's going to be 10.3, all right? So it's going to be 10.3. And then we'll just subtract the 9 grams from that um, at the end. Next one is, next sphere, medium-sized sphere. All right, so for this guy, we'll put him in here, take the other one out. For the medium-sized sphere, let's see how many grams it's going to be. It's going to be 20. And... Twenty-seven point three. All right, 27.3, 27.3. And again, we'll subtract the nine at the end. Then we have our big sphere. All right, today's big sphere is brought to you by the number 14. How can I do this? All right. Um, so for the big sphere, put it in here and we'll see how many grams it's gonna be. 40. Okay, it's gonna be 40. Not quite 50, 49. Still high, 49.8. All right, we're going to call it 49.8 grams. All righty. Now for the actual data collection. All right, we've got our gravity well right here. Move this guy in so you can see what's going on here. For our gravity well, what we're going to do is we're going to take the spheres and we're going to roll them around the gravity well to kind of simulate um, orbiting around um, basically an object in space. All the extra spheres always go down on the bottom that kind of helps stabilize things and we'll roll them around as smoothly and steadily as we possibly can. So it's impossible that you know we're going to get exact results from this because sometimes you might push just a little bit harder than other times. Um, I always have people or I tell everyone just do the best you can to consistently roll you know those um, the spheres around. When you're launching them, um, there are lines around on these where um, you know 90 degrees is trying to launch it basically straight around. 80 degrees is going to be just diving down a little bit, and then the further down you go, 60 and 50 and 40, it's kind of diving it down. And what that does is it changes the trajectory of the orbit of the actual object. So um, not all things orbit around in perfect circles as they're going around. They kind of tend to be more in an ellipse shape and everything. The goal of the lab is to see what's going to give us the most revolutions or the most orbits around. Right? Is it like an even 90 degrees, like it's almost circular and it kind of slows down? Or would it be 10 degrees because it's going to go way up and then way back down and way up and way back down? So that's what we're trying to um, see for each one of the spheres. So we'll start with the small sphere. All right, and for the first one, we'll try to orbit around 90. And each time it goes around past this line, we'll just count that as one orbit and see how well it does. So if I kind of go around 
like that is what we're going to try to do. And I'll try to do it as consistently as I can, kind of rolling it around each time. Okay, so let's start uh, the first time here. One, two, maybe we'll count it as two. All right, so it didn't do very many with uh, 90 degrees. Let's try it. If I do 80, which will be just a little bit down from that, one, two, and a half, right? So we'll say 2.5. All right, 70 degrees, so small sphere, 70 degrees, angling it down just a little bit. One, two, oh, just a solid two for that guy. All right, small sphere, 60 degrees, so this time almost going down just a little bit. There we go, one, two, three, four, four. All right, so we got four. All right, so changing, uh, changing the angle definitely seemed to help. 50 degrees, so we're kind of going down a little bit more. One, two, Three, four, five, six. We'll say six. It did six. If we do, what are we up to here? We're up to 40 degrees. So now we're kind of angling down even more. One, two, three, four, five, five. All right, five again. Five. Okay, 30 degrees. Definitely shooting down now. One, two, 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 we'll say two and a half, two and a half, 2.5. Seems like we're starting to lose a little bit of action here. 20 degrees, so we're shooting really down. Whoa, the, okay, that one didn't count. <gasps> Let's try again, try again. One, two, three, three, okay, three. Seems like we hit a sweet spot there for this one. And then 10 degrees, so I'm going pretty straight down. Oh, no, hold on, I hit, I hit another planet. Don't worry about that one. One, okay, maybe one, doesn't even really count as one. Okay, so there definitely was a sweet spot right around 50 degrees where for the small one, it seemed to help. Let's do the same thing with uh, the medium sized ones. All right, so 90 degrees. One, two, three, four. All right, four, all right, we're at four. 80 degrees, almost straight across, but a little bit. One, two, three, Four, that's about four, two. 70 degrees. One, two, three, four. Oh, four, we'll call it four and a half, 4.5. All right, what are we up to? We're up to 60 degrees, so see, okay, we're going down a little bit more. One, two, three, four, oh, four. okay, four. Got more consistent data. This one's 50, all right, 50. So we're shooting, let me make sure I get this right, 50. One, two, three, four, five, five, okay, five and a half, 5.5. That's what one, by the way, with the smaller one. 60 degrees, we're going down a little bit more. One, two, three, four, four, okay, four. Uh, 40 degrees, right? Oh no, uh, 30 degrees, okay, 30 degrees. One, two, three, four, four. All right, we're seeing consistent data here. 20 degrees, one, oh, just one. 10 degrees, might be even worse. 10 degrees, one, I don't even think that was one. I think it may only, be, we're gonna call that one 0.5. Now for the big kahuna, all right, the big one, number 14. All right, we'll do this one again. 90 degrees. Whoa, okay, we'll try 90 degrees again. I'm getting a little wild and crazy here. One, two, th two, we'll, we'll call it three. We'll call it three before it hits someone. Three, okay, 80 degrees, shooting down in a little bit. One, two, three, four, four and a half. Four and a half, 4.5. 70 degrees, okay, 70 degrees. One, two, three, we'll call it four. We'll call that about four before it hits someone. Okay, uh, we're up to 60 degrees. 60 degrees, we're going down in a little bit more. One, two, three, four, we'll say 4.5, about 4.5. 50 degrees, now this is the one that's one for the last two. So we'll see if we do 50 degrees. Hold on, let me uh, kind of smooth things out here a little bit. 50 degrees, one, two, three, 
four, uh, about four, about four. Okay. Then we're down to 40 degrees. Now we're getting down in there again. One, two, oh, I'd say, I only say about one and a half, 1.5. 40 degrees, 30 degrees, 30 degrees, one, two, we've got about two, 20 degrees, we're going to get a little bit sharper now, one, uh, only about one, last roll, last roll of the lab, we're going straight down in almost 10 degrees, one, uh, I'd say maybe one and a half, maybe 1.5 that it got it. So definitely our results are showing us that right around the 50 degree mark, right? That's where we're getting the best results. We're getting the most orbits around things because it turns out, like I was telling you, um, it's more efficient. It's less efficient if you're going in a perfect circle. And that's why most of the things that are orbiting the sun, for example, they tend to orbit kind of like in a more of an elliptical shape, right? You know, the path of Earth, for example, going around the sun, it's not a perfect circle. It's definitely this ellipse. There's more of a ovally kind of shape to it. All right, make sure you take the quiz and I'll see you a little later.